Seattle Public Schools will hit the books today for the first time in months. In this morning's Project Safe Schools, we've got the district's plan to get those kids safely back to school. Two Works View's Tatiana Taylor is live this morning with all the details for us. Tatiana. Well, good morning, Corey. You know, this parking lot, this building, it's all been empty since spring break, but this morning it's finally going to get some action as the first day of school is today. Now, one thing Superintendent Lance West explained that makes Collinsville different from other districts we've covered. 17% of the district is enrolled online, but that could change. Collinsville Public Schools is still allowing parents to enroll their child in district and the distance learning option. Parents can switch their child to in person or online learning at any time throughout the school year. He tells to works for you to support staff members tested positive for the coronavirus ahead of the school year and neither neither of them were teachers. We spoke to the principal of the high school. Scott Kiker says he's ready for the school year as long as he has three things. Those three W's of wearing a mask, watching your distance and washing your hands. Kiker says social distancing, nutrition, safe transport, events, and sports are all being taken seriously this school year. Masks are required in all buildings and buses for all staff and students. Now, hand washing and other cleaning measures are in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Coming up next, we'll hear from a mom and a Collinsville junior about why they chose the online distance learning option for the rest of the school year. Live in Collinsville, I'm Tatiana Taylor to work for you.